big guy. Um, and today we are going to watch um um candy canes. How it's made. So yeah, let's let's get started. Candy canes come in many different colors and sizes. The candy makers start by cooking up a big batch of sugar, water, and corn syrup. Next, they prepare a mix of starch and peppermint flavoring. As they blend together, the flavoring binds to the starch. The flavoring mix is emptied into the middle of the syrupy slab. Then the whole thing is fed into a machine that folds the bag repeatedly using shovels and a plunger. This distributes the flavoring evenly. Cold water is piped into the shovels and the needle pull the candy cane mix. So it takes on a stiffer consistency, which is needed for the next step. The automated pullers. These pullers stretch the mixture around a metal post. This action aerates the candy, turning it white. This batch will make 3,200 candy canes, but there's still a lot more work to do. I look like there, you guys. until it's pliable enough to shape. Next, they roll strips of bread cover candy. But guys, um, don't get off the video, even though you want to see it private, do not. A worker stretches and folds it to widen the strip. strips are arranged on either side of the white candy. The block of candy weighs 100 pounds, so it takes two workers to transfer it to a batch roller. The batch roller cylinders roll the candy thinner and thinner, dramatically reducing the log diameter until it reaches candy cane dimensions. A torch moves across the candy to keep it pliable. The sugary batch travels between wheels that slim it down even more. Sorry, you guys. Dramatically reducing the log diameter until it reaches candy cane dimensions. A torch moves across the candy to keep it pliable. The sugary batch travels between wheels that slim it down even more. The rope of candy moves forward in a wave-like fashion. This gives it some slack so it doesn't stretch as it moves through the next set of wheels. through two angled belts that twist it, and a chain of knives cut the twisted rope to candy cane size. Belts that twist it, and a chain of knives cut the twisted rope to candy cane size. This production had perfectly choreographed. cellophane unwinds, and a device wraps it around the candy sticks. A 
blast of hot air shrinks the cellophane on the ends of the canes. Now it's on. Blast of hot air shrinks the cellophane on the ends of the canes. Now it's time for these candy sticks to get signature crooks. This machine called a crooker deck bends the ends. the candy canes on the conveyor belt before the arm picks them up at a time. And we're not dumb either. There's a camera inside this right -like arm that spots the candy canes on the conveyor belt before the arm picks them up two at a time. They can do fun things, you're just missing out on it. Liable enough to bend, they're still fragile. There's a camera inside this robotic arm that spots the candy canes on the conveyor belt before the arm picks them up two at a time. Well, you can watch the rest of this, it's just gonna keep going. Place them cardboard packages by the dozen. 